man, I feel just like a rock star. Hey everyone, welcome back to the NASCAR Thunder 2004 PS2 Season 3 Career Mode. Let's play Lights Gentlemen. Right now, about to do race 3 at 36. Going to Las Vegas Motor Speedway in Las Vegas, Nevada for the running of the UAW Daimler Chrysler 400. Last race was at Rockingham, and I was really disappointed with the performance of that race. Uh, finished 21st. I qualified 10th. I expected maybe to get a top 15 finish, but not only I didn't do my job out there on the racetrack, but... Pit crew, once again, was a second half slower. It was ridiculous. So that whole race was a bust, too. And I was bitching and complaining a lot in that race. So And frustrated. So if you guys didn't like me whining, I could totally understand. I apologize about that. But it's frustrating because you feel like you can perform really well. And it just doesn't happen. Because I want to win a championship in this career mode before I quit this career mode. So... I mean, I tried to perform the best I could. By the way, I didn't show you guys the point settings at the end of uh, the last video, so I'll show you the point settings now. Uh, Jeff Gordon holds the points lead by 28 points over Ryan Newman. I am ninth in points right now, 75 points back, so I thought I'd show you guys before I forget again. Um, in the garage right now, uh, building chassis number 6 for 3 more races, overhauling chassis number 5 for 2 more races. Engines, I'm building engine number 7 for 3 more races and overhauling engine number 4 for 2 more races. And the bodies, overhauling by number 6 for 2 races. Shop additions, 4 races left until the engine dyno comes in. Alright, so, race weekend. Let's get right on into it. So, chassis, gonna use the new chassis, uh, chassis number 3, uh, engine number 6. And I'm gonna do... By number seven. So it's car rank 65 is one car rank up, but hopefully this car will perform well in this race. So let me get on the qualifying and see where I'll start. Off turn number four here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Gonna complete qualifying. 3149 on first lap with 36. It's a little faster, but it's not gonna be good. 28th. My, my god. And who's this custom car on the pole? Did you see that? The 141, I think it was the 141 car. Oh, I want to look at that again. Let's keep, go through the results. Come on. Keep going. God, 28th. I feel like I could have done better. Oh my god. I am so bad. Uh, par Yeah, 141 Parker. I don't even know. Okay, let's just get on to the race. NASCAR Winston Cup Racing has hit the jackpot this week. As we come to Las Vegas Motor Speedway for today's UAW Daimler Chrysler 400. What are your thoughts on this race? The drivers need to get a good feel for this track early on. With all the green flag laps they run here, if you make a mistake early on or miss an adjustment in your first stop, your race will quickly become worse and worse. Jimmy Johnson, who won a couple of championships in his early days as an off-road racer, came into the NASCAR Busch Series in 2000. He immediately showed a lot of consistency and picked up a full-time ride in the NASCAR Winston Cup Series in 2002. And he's been pretty impressive ever since. The 82 car has started something recently with the 25 car. You know, a little contact now and then is to be expected. The track gets crowded real quickly when you put 43 cars out there. I wouldn't be too worried about it. Cars are rolling off pit road here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. The 141 Parker and then Kenny Wallace start on the front row. Let's get this race here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway underway. Oh, damn, am I moving up a few positions already? Because, man, 
going slow somehow. Complete the first lap. I got in the Jeff Gordon just a little bit. Oh, don't do that. I'm about to already crack the top 20, which is awesome. So I've basically moved up eight positions. Now, I just realized the front row is going to be really slow. Kenny Wallace is usually slow. The custom car. So it's really going to hold these guys up, which might help me out, actually. Oh, come on, car. Turn off four. All right. Well, I've gotten the Jeff Gordon. I got in the McMurray off turn four already. I've already moved up 10 spots, guys. This is awesome. This is awesome. Is that the 141 car? Back in 18th already? He started on pole and he's two and a half laps in. He's in 18. Holy crap, is he slow. Sorry, Rusty. I didn't mean to get into you there. Wow. Wow. All right, 141 is pretty slow. Oh, my God. No wonder a lot of these guys were held up so bad at the start. See, he was going so slow. He was probably the one holding up all these guys. All right, well, I'm in the top 15 already. This is awesome. Stop getting sideways, please. All right, this is good. I see Kenny Wallace in 12th. I'm not surprised with him falling back quickly. But he ain't falling back as quickly as that 141 car. Tell you what, if I get by Michael Waltrip here in the first five laps, I picked, I moved up half way through the field, started 28th up to 14th. That's pretty cool if you ask me. This makes me feel good about this race for a little bit. For, for right now, we'll see after the pit stop though. Still got a pit stop to do and hopefully the pit crew can do their job this time. I know I'm going to easily get around Kenny Wallace. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get around Giant Benson no problem as well. Don't get sideways. Oh my god, this car is tight coming off the corner. Oh my goodness, this car is tight coming off the corner though. Guess what, I got into Jeff Gordon on the first lap, then McMurray the next lap off four. Yeah, this car is going up the racetrack off the corner. Oh my god. Sorry, Johnny Benson. Damn it. I swear to God, him and I, the last two races, I got in the, I got in the Johnny Benson a couple of times at Rockingham as well. Man, this, God, this car is tight coming off the corner. And then it's loose going in the corner. It's like ridiculous. Again, it's a bad combination. Loose in, tight off. That's what a driver really doesn't like. Look at that. I got 20 laps to go. Your right front tire's wearing down. Try another line or you won't last. All right, well, I'm up to 13th now. I w could have maybe been 12th had this car not been so tight. Why are you getting sideways going in the corner? Stop it. Somebody's coming down Piro, I guarantee you, blown engine. Yeah, Kenny Wallace is holding those guys up behind me, which is why I'm pulling away from them. Which is nice, actually. So, I don't even know who's leading this race now. Oh, who's that coming down pit road? Elliot Sadler. Coming down pit road early, it seems like. Looks like a few others are coming down pit road now as well. I should pit within a couple laps. Oh, I'm catching Kurt Busch just a little bit. 
And I'm catching them. Wow, I got a run on them off the corner there. Number 97, top on. Good run. All clear, buddy. Comes some, somebody else down payroll. That's Dale and our junior. Okay, this car is actually starting to get better on the long run, actually. It's not as tight, actually. It, this car got loosened up a bit, so it's good. Which I want that. Alright, well, I'm in the top 10 right now. I think I'm going to pit next time by. Whoa, Bobby Lyon going slow here. And yeah, I'm pitting next time by. I think Bobby O'Brien got held up when some cars are coming down pit road in front of him. Yeah, this car feels better coming off the corner. Oh, except when you get into somebody's draft right there like I did. Okay, Bobby O'Brien, don't force me down here again. Oh, man. Alright, coming down pit road this time. Alright. Uh, I'm not going to loosen up the car. I think I'm fine. Let's have a good pit stop. 16.6 .6 or faster pit stop, guys. I know you're capable of doing that. Let's have it here. We're actually having a decent race, okay? Let's not blow it. I'm actually doing my job. I feel like this is going to be slow. I can feel it. Yep. 13, 14, 15, 16. <sighs> a second slower. I'm telling. I don't know anymore with this pick. And look, look how much ground I'm going to lose to Bobby LeBay and Kurt Busch now. Guys, I just don't know anymore. I don't know what to do. I feel like I'm doing everything I can. But the pit crew doesn't want to do their job. I swear to God to you guys, this is new crew. This is new pit crew that I signed for at the beginning of this season. I swear to God to you, they're new. They're just not doing their job. And I swear to God to you that I picked the highest overall rating, skill, speed level pit crew members that I could get that this game gave me. And they're still not doing their job. I just don't know what to do. I don't know how far back I'm going to drop. I was 13th. We'll see how far back I'm going to drop. Giant Benson's ahead of me. He was not ahead of me before. Oh, he's actually coming down payroll. Okay, never mind. So we'll see where I'll be by the time it's all over. Okay, 19th right now. This, this car does get better on the long run. I was doing better on the long run. We'll, so we'll see how this car is. See if I could catch these three guys ahead of me in the long run. Got 10 laps to go. Uh, 14th right now. Who's this ahead of me? It's Dale Jarrett. Okay, so I really didn't lose all that much. Which, which I'm happy about, you know. I know Dale Jarrett's going to pull away from me. He's going to have a couple laps fresher tires than me. So I wouldn't be surprised if he pulls away from me. So 14th right now, guys. I only lost one spot in that exchange of green flag pit stops. Had I probably had a quicker pit stop than that, I probably would have been maybe 12th, maybe, maybe 11th. I don't know. I don't know, but I had a second slower pit stop. I would have been out ahead of Dale Jarrett by then and maybe Jimmy Johnson okay well I guess Christian Fittipaldi blew up wow car 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 turn in the entry in the corner please wow
feel like I'm gonna be able to catch Jimmy Johnson, which I am now. So I didn't get my sponsor objective for qualifying, but hopefully I can keep my sponsor objective for finishing an average finish of 20th. I know that's Jimmy Johnson. I mean, I don't know who the other guy, who the other driver is. I'm about to find out once I get closer. Is that Kurt Busch? Or is that somebody else? I'm about to find out when we cross the line because my thing will come up. Tell you what, who's this behind me? Is that Jeff Gordon behind me? It is. He's catching me. That's Kurt Busch, by the way. Hey, Jimmy Johnson. I feel like Jeff Gordon's going to catch me. <laughs> he's catching me pretty quickly. He was the winner at Rockingham as well. I wonder why he's doing back this far. Oh, my God. Car turn. Yeah, see, this car is better on the long run. It, it actually has more speed in the long run than it does on the short run. All right, five to go. Five more laps. Actually, Jimmy, let me get by you. Then hold up your teammate, by the way, because he's gonna catch. Gordon's gonna catch me. He's gonna ask me turn car, please, please. Okay. I feel like I can get by Kurt Busch, but I feel like that's all I'm gonna get. I don't think I'm gonna get by anybody else. So once I get around Kurt Busch, that's about it. Yeah, Jeff Gordon's definitely going to pass me. So I probably will still finish like 13th. Because I'm catching Kurt Busch right now, and this would be for 12th. But Gordon is probably going to get around me. He's just fast. Yeah, this car, my car has good speed on the long run. All right, I got a good run off turn two on Kurt Busch. Don't give me some room, bud. I know it's the final laps of the race, but yep, here comes Gordon. He's going to get by me. Yep, there it goes. Okay. So now I got race for 13th. Oh, but I'm going to make it three wide here because why not? Three to go. I might as well give it a try. Let's see if I can still stay with Gordon. Oh, good run off turn two. It's not over yet, guys. Who am I actually catching up here? It's Elliot Sadler. Oh man, that would be for 11th, but Gorn is probably going to pull away from me now. Damn it. Well, I'll tell you one thing, this is better than last year's Vegas race. So there's some improvement there. It's good that I improve on a racetrack each season, so it's good. Alright, yeah, Gorn's going to pull away from me now because I kind of screwed up turn one. But I'm going to get around Elliott Sadler here for 12th. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to catch Jeff Gorns. But you know what, guys? Going to come off turn number four. I'm going to get a 12th place finish. I'm okay with 12th. Decent race for me. I'll take it. I started 28th, finished for Sterling Marlin one. You don't usually see Sterling Marlin winning this Let's Play. That's awesome, actually. I'm okay with Sterling Marlin winning, too. That's good news. I, I'm okay with this finish. 12th place? Good race for me. And good payout for me, too. Not bad. I... Okay. That was a good race for me. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Alright. Oh, Atlanta's next, though. I haven't usually been that good at Atlanta, so I'm a little concerned about Atlanta. But we'll see how Atlanta goes. I mean, might go well for me, might not. Let's go into team management now, see what's gonna go what's going on right now. So building chassis number six for two more races, overhauling chassis number five for one more race. Uh, engines, building engine number seven for two more races, and overhauling engine number four for one more race. And then bodies, I'm overhauling body number six for one more race. So I still got some I still got good stuff. 
I like how that's a 63, but 55 drafting, and this is 61 with 60 draft. It's a big difference. And the shop editions, three more races now until the engine dyno comes in. All right. So um, I can't overhaul anything right now. So I can actually sell. Let me check something real quick. That would bring me up to 63, 62, 64, 61. 64, 59. I think this would bring me up to 65, 56. No. 64, 56. I don't remember what was going on here. Uh, I think I'm going to... Guys, I think I might sell a chassis, actually. 63, 62. Uh, no, I'm probably going to wait to another race. I'm not going to do that right now. Okay. I'm going to wait one more race, actually. Wait till after Atlanta, see what happens. Alright, so next race, guys. Oh, wait, no, I want to show you the point standings. I don't want to forget about that. Point standings. I don't want to forget about that. So, uh, Sterling Marlin holds the points lead by three points over Jeff Gordon. Wow, very tight. And I'm 10th in points, 81 back. I didn't really lose that much, so I'm okay with that. Eight points out of Matt Kenseth in the top 10. Alright, so next race is going to be at Lama Speedway, guys. Uh, so we'll just see what happens at Atlanta. I'll see you there.